everybody and happy Advent. We are the Potts family. I am Mrs. Potts, that's Mr. Potts over there, and Madeline and Katerina and Nathaniel. And we are happy to be here with you on the second day of Advent. And our Advent devotional this evening is about the story of Jacob and Esau and it is called The Stealing of the Blessing. Genesis 27, 15 reads, then Rebekah took the best garments of Esau, her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. So this story is about a family. There's Isaac and his wife, Rebekah, and then they have two twin sons. Esau is the older brother by a few minutes, and then there is Jacob. He's the younger brother. So in the Jewish tradition, it was the eldest son who was the favorite one, and that was definitely true in this family. So Esau was definitely Isaac's favorite child. Rebecca, though, had a favorite child in Jacob, so he was her favorite child. And um, what would happen is this eldest favored son would receive a blessing from the father. Um, before his death and that would grant that child all of the uh, riches and the wealth of the family the land and the animals and everything else so in this story Isaac is getting near the end of his life and he has decided to call Esau to him to give him his blessing and Esau gets ready for this and he goes out to gather the food that he needs to create his father's favorite meal and while he's gone Rebecca and Jacob decide that they are going to do something a little sneaky and they are going to get Jacob all dressed up and pretend that he is Esau. Esau and Jacob were twins and I'm an older of a twin so I it kind of always the story has been one that I really had a hard time with because I am the older twin I'm like well, that's not fair what happened and um, being a fraternal twin very different I get that you know I'm not hairy like you saw but um, the idea of Jacob needing to dress up and, and be kind of hairy and to kind of pass off um, that's a really uh, important part of the story and I'm glad to have this devotion because it, it made me finally clicked in my mind that maybe others of what the true meaning of the story is and how the clothing was the important part. Yeah, so the clothing is an important part in the story because Jacob is clothed in these clothes that make him feel and sort of look like his older brother Esau, just like Jesus clothes us in his righteousness so that God doesn't see our sin and who we truly are inside. He sees Jesus' mercy and his righteousness that he gives to us so that when God decides if we go to heaven, we are shown as unsinful. We aren't who we truly are. We are, we are seen as Jesus in that way. Right, because Jacob was, he was, he was tricky. He was pretty tricky and he was doing some bad stuff, but we as Christians are even worse than that we're sinful and we're horrible and we are presented to god like our older brother jesus right we're um clothed in his righteous his robes of righteousness and so just like god had a plan for jacob to be part of his story even from the beginning of time that he was going to be the father of israel he too uh accepts us and makes us part of his plan because we've been clothed in the righteousness of jesus christ so, shall we pray? Let's pray. Yes, if you could join me in a simple, short prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for your plan of salvation, which clothes us in righteousness. For our older brother, and, gr um, and grant us the, the blessing that you pour out over Jesus. Amen. 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 Happy Advent. Merry Christmas.